Hi, I'm Jürg and I'm here at the same place that where I filmed the Phaeton video. I am not giving up trying to make intros at the Merit Puisto where the view is nice because there is so much people and wind this today actually. No, you couldn't have hear anything I'm saying there. I think it's still here still. But to the subject, today's video is a little bit bittersweet because it's a goodbye video for this car. It is the my 2016 Alfa Romeo Giulia. It is like a perfect car. Sorry, sorry about my shadow on the, on the car. The finished sun is low. Although it's like nice that it is still up at still like and it's five o'clock so but yeah still, still the camera from Risi and do the like selfie style this explanation here so what we have here like I said 2016 Alfa Romeo Giulia super body kit it is just like one of the most beautiful cars ever made i think like any angle you are looking at this car from it's just just gorgeous it's every angle is thought that it, it looks timeless and and, and and especially this fight with black rims is just beautiful there is some like beautiful details on the like it says Alfa Romeo really nicely here there is like Alfa Romeo on the brake calibers it is it's just a design marvel I would say uh, and I'm so sad to like even thinking of trading it Although I've already made the deal, I'm just like keeping it for the day and so that I can clean it and make this video. And tomorrow I will make a new video about the new car, but I don't know, this is a little bit sad. I think I'm going to cry tonight when, when I like this sinks in, in that I am actually going to give up this beautiful car. Like when you open the door, driver's side, it is like the interior is like it's like a sculpture. It's like oh, like so nice here in here. I had this half leather interior, electric seats, navigation, eight bit automatic gearbox. Oh, this, is so, this is so beautiful car and my favorite Alfa Romeo of all time I would say the rear seat wasn't very great it, it was really tiny but it could fit for like two adults at least I think we tested it with four adults but let's, let's do the same thing that I've done with of course well I can fit here I can say that but any taller driver I would start losing like a space here but i can fit here okay this is not the biggest car i have owned but also like here it's much bigger you have headroom also like you it looks like that you wouldn't have but you have because the lines have been so smartly designed out outside One. And, and especially that let, let's look like around there like all the time like the that, that is like a sculpture, that dashboard. Also, like, this is the only car where those flappy paddles I've actually used. The 8 speed in this is ve very good. And actually, let's go for the drawback. Why I'm even like go thinking of getting rid of this. Back to front seat. And then you can. Let's start the car actually, so you can hear. Yeah, that is the problem, why this car, I'm letting this car go. It's a diesel and it made sense when I bought it, but 
let's ask Risi to join us in the car and let's go for a little bit of drive and I will explain more. Okay, so now I have my camera woman inside the car also, so let's go for a little bit drive and I try to explain why 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 is it that, that I am making the hard call of making why I ended up buying this car in the first place and why I'm making this hard call of letting it go. So first of all it was like at the time when I bought this like two two years ago I drove like a, uh, I think like it was over 30,000 kilometers a year so diesel made such sense it is it was a lot cheaper to buy than the gasoline benzene version I'm also like always like losing the word for benza benzene gasoline but anyway it's like it was a lot cheaper like a half cheaper to buy than a gasoline powered one and it's still like very like it's not the sluggish car i can like put it on the chair like dynamic the, like the drive modes are so so expressive i can like let's do a little of like the slower this here i can do from from zero on the top turbo yeah you are so quickly in the top trouble territory here let's put it back to normal driving mode but yeah it's not a sluggish car 180 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque so this this will go very well although it's like only four cylinder diesel but it is a 2.2 liter so it's it feels much more powerful and Talkier than you could expect. Uh, to like, uh, it's so sublime to drive. It is like, it is pretty much the steering wheel. It's also like, it's like a connected straight to my brain when I do a little bit the car. Do. It's like response straight away. It's not no hesitation. And everything is so not nice, especially in, on the dynamic. Uh, there is like the. Also, like the, all the pedals are feels super responsive, and be careful here, it can be trains. And the car says this, I haven't driven anything like this car. It feels like a sport car, but it is, although with the engine. But uh, yeah, why I'm giving this up all that I love this I absolutely love this and I'm regretting all the already the decision I've made when I'm now that I'm driving this car but it is just because our how how much there is kilometers nowadays for me like every like 90 percent of our driving is 20 to 30 kilometers in the city and after the last service this car has gotten like 6,000 kilometers since the last service that was a year ago and having this car just sitting around in the yard not doing anything and I have to still pay pay like part of the insurances I have to pay the financing still uh, so it's just like doesn't make sense to keep it anymore like just sitting around in the yard so it's a little bit even sad to look at this car every day tear gathering snow during the winter because I'm a little bit also saving I wanted to save this I didn't want to drive this in the winters but but now today like all the other driving too it has gone down so much it's just the wrong answer for, for this right this situation I might in the future buy another one of these when they get much cheaper like maybe five years from now getting like a good example of like a petrol gasoline powered one when they come down to like 10,000 euros I most likely will jump in in on one very quickly at that price point but right now this this diesel diesel engine one isn't isn't the best choice for my situation or our situation 
and also I don't think this is a very good car for Rizzi to try to my wife to try to practice driving so I'm getting like a little bit more like normal car for her to drive to and, and also one other like challenge with this car has been like to getting so it's serviced like last time I went to Lahti like 400 kilometers away to get this car serviced because the closer service station official service like gave me that like we don't want your business offer 600 euros for oil, oil chains so I'm not taking the car there but now of course it's a little bit easier because there is now in all all 200 300 kilometers away there is now a new new like service they're available but I haven't tested it yet so but it could like make this car a little bit more easy to service it's not much more expensive to service than like Audi or BMW or Volkswagen it's like normal like German car service prices or it's like the year yearly services that 400 euros for 500 euros new timing timing belt is 600 euros like very, very normal kind of like money for all the services and fairly fairly like low also like fuel consumption I think my record was five liters per hundred kilometers so it's fairly good good results not the, not the greatest but fairly good results as a like fuel economy what else I could say I'm, I'm starting to like it I, I, I don't know well if you can see I think I can get, I'm starting to get tears in my eyes thinking of like, giving up this but yeah it's it's been a loyal company and everyone says that Alfa Romeo's are un, unreliable and they break down and they have all kinds of issues but no nothing everything has been just perfect there's not that no problems with this car mainly like only ones that I that has been has been caused by me being idiot like breaking one pressure monitoring sensor and driving with flat tire and ruining the tire stove that, that was completely on me and uh, yeah that's pretty much the only pro pro problem I've had this car with this car so it's been a reliable companion but front front engine for me but don't don't be anyway stuck discouraged about the diesel 2.2 diesel is a really good engine it's I think it goes into my top 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 of top of my list on like four cylinder diesel engines it's much more talky and nice than the 2.0 TDI in Volkswagens or or like any other cars I've diesel cars I've driven this is like a much more spirited engine than many of the many other of the of the same same fuel yeah um, also one one thing why I was I have, have had like a second like winter car has been also like that this is a rear wheel drive and that 450 newton meters of torque that I talked about in the beginning and it makes this little bit too lively to be nice winter car you just go near the accelerator and the tail is trying to kick out and then you lose power because of the traction control systems and it's a little bit like twitchy to drive in the winter so I've preferred to getting like a four-wheel drive cars for the winter and that's also one reason why this is standing so much in the yard and it's uh, Start losing because the, this, I, I will miss this car. Good girl, good girl, Julia. You, you've served me well, and I hope the next guy who buys you from the dealer will you will serve him or her as well as me. They're 
I cannot say anything else. But yeah. Uh, I think so. I think we are going to conclude this video here and I'm going to go in the morning and we will see you again with the net new car that I make it exit change to and it will be a very different different kind of car it's than this but for today thank you for watching please like and subscribe this video and channel and we will go to YouTube star.